Now I've got to start off by labeling two axes then. This axis, the vertical axis, is going to denote the speed and I'm going to mark that in as V. Don't forget the units, meters per second. Horizontal axis here is the time, T, which is measured in seconds. Now the athlete starts from rest, accelerates uniformly, so that's going to be a straight line, and she accelerates for 5 seconds, so mark that in at 5, until she reaches a speed of 8 meters per second, so mark those two values in there. Then she runs at a constant speed for t seconds, so we'll call that t, that's that length across there. And then she deaccelerates at a constant rate, so that will be another straight line until she stops. And she stops after 75 seconds, so you should have something like this, okay? You might want to put this time in here and because it was t seconds across this stretch then this time here would be 5 plus t. Okay so essentially a graph something like that should do. Okay well that brings us to the end of this part of the question.